Hey Don, Oceana here with G3 Agency. Um, in this video, I'm just going to quickly show you a couple of options that you have when it comes to getting yourself in front of people who are searching for your services. Um, I am going to focus on the Aurora area because um, that is the area that I found has a high demand and low competition to show up on Google. So I'm going to just show you how you can do it. You can take this information and run with it and go do it yourself if you want. I'd be very happy with that. Um, also, you could come back to me and my team and see if um, see if we could partner up if you would like to do something like that. But that is not an expectation. Um, so let's go. For, oh, sorry, my alarm. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Um, so first of all, this is the high demand, low competition I was talking about. So this is a keyword um, research tool that I have, and I basically cross referenced anything that had to do with carpet and Aurora, Colorado. And now I'm left with a list of people of ways that people have typed um, into Google, things that people have typed into Google that involve both of those words and how many times a month on average that is searched. So for example, carpet cleaning in Aurora, Colorado is searched about 90 times a month and um, it's got a keyword difficulty or basically competition score of five out of a hundred and that's very low and that's very good. <laughs> so um, this is a really good one and so is this. Um, this one not so much because I think this is like for a, a store where they sell carpet <laughs> but carpet cleaning services in Aurora, Colorado we're back on track. So um, you can see how it kind of adds up. You know you got 90 people searching for it this way, 50 people searching for it that way, 30 this way, blah blah blah. So now that we've identified um, what words, how people are trying to find you. Now, how do we get in front of them at the right time? Um, well, first of all, we want to put the, um, we want to choose a keyword to focus on. So you're going to do this for any keyword that you want to show up for. Um, so carpet cleaning in Aurora, Colorado, we put that in there. And now um, you can see the map pack. So this is the area where you can show up without a website. Um, None of these don't have websites right now, but I often see uh, listings in here that don't have a website. And you don't have to have your um, address listed publicly either. You can actually hide that if you'd like. That's what I do. Okay, so um, how you get up into this map pack is with a Google My Business listing. So you want to set up your GMB. Um, basically, you want to go to business google.com it'll reroute you to another url that i can never remember but that's the old url and it'll it'll move you to the new site don't worry and you just go in there add your information um, it might already have a listing for you and in that case you just make sure that all the information is correct and you're good to go and then you take your name address and phone number spelled exactly the same way that it's spelled on your Google my business listing and you want to paste that all over different directories like Yelp, Yext, CityStar, White Pages, etc. Um, and that's gonna each time that you do that it's gonna basically boost your credibility um, proving to Google over and over that you really do exist and you really do serve this area and that's gonna help you uh, show up right at the right time uh, right you know right when when people are looking for you um, if you end up in the top three of the map pack then you end up I mean if you end up in the top three of the map results you end up in the in the first page of Google so that's really nice because then people will definitely call you your phone numbers right there and it's really nice uh, and then okay down here this is the part that you definitely do need a website for but it is the most awesome part of being on Google so this right here this link will get the most clicks of all of them um, and so what we want to do is compare you uh, to uh, you know compare yourself to this website and see what it is that they're doing right that we could also do now I know this looks a little daunting there's like this chat thing here and it's all like lots of colors and all that Google doesn't care about any of that what Google cares about is the words on the page and how you save the images um, it really just wants to know what you're doing and what kind of information you have to sh to share. It wants to sh it wants to put the expert in front of the people looking for answers. So if you have the most information about um, carpet cleaning on your website and and specifically carpet cleaning in the area that you want to carpet clean, um, then Google's going to push you at the top as long as it trusts you. So um, you're definitely going to want to what you want to do to show up is when you create your own website. 
make sure that you include these phrases. Oh, no, sorry. These phrases um, like carpet cleaning in Aurora, Colorado. That one's a little bit easier to, sh to put in um, to uh, into your content. You know, you can say, are you looking for carpet cleaning in Aurora, Colorado? Question mark. Um, <laughs> we have the best carpet cleaning Aurora, Colorado has to offer. Um, <laughs> and so, you know, you can kind of come up with creative ways to include that into your content. And those are going to be signals to Google that, hey, when someone types in oh, carpet cleaning Aurora, Colorado, I'm the one that should show up because I have that in my website all over the place. And then another fun place to have the keywords is actually if I right click on this image, for example, click save image as I can see that this image was uploaded with the name carpet cleaning Aurora Colorado so I can see that they're already taking advantage of this there it is see that 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 keyword that we were talking about is right there so um, that is another way that you're definitely going to want to take advantage of that um, and then over here so I put them into Arifs. this is the same tool I use to find the keywords but I'm using another function it's called the site explorer and basically it's gonna it tells me a few important details about how this website's performing so first of all it has a pretty impressive UR and DR score um, these are actually quite good um, but they're not difficult to outdo <laughs> you know they're they're not like whoa that's insane <laughs> Um, just you know I look at these numbers all day <laughs> um, and then over here this is how they got their numbers up so high because yours is going to start out with zero on both of these um, these are basically how much Google thinks that you're trustworthy as simple as that um, referring domains and backlinks are um, a backlink is any link that goes to your site from another site and then a referring domain is any site that has that link on there um, so uh, I can actually take a look at what your competition's backlinks look like. This would be an example of, well, maybe not. No, no. <laughs> these are, see, these are kind of random. Um, epodcastnetwork.com. I don't think that has anything to do with carpet cleaning, to be honest. Um, so that might not be a good one, even though it's got a high DR rating. And DR, again, is how trusted that website is by Google. So it's got a good score, but it's kind of random, right? Ethiopiannewstoday.com, kind of random. Also, it has a low score. Um, but let's see, topratedlocal.com, that might be a good one. Uh, it might be, you know, that sounds like they list local businesses, your local business, so that makes sense. Um, and then it's got a high DR score, so that's great. You just want to be careful that as you go out and you find uh, backlinks, that you're not getting low quality ones like these zeros here and these zeros down here. Um, these are not healthy, and these are actually going to be pulling their site down. So, I mean, that's kind of good news for you, but it's bad news for them. It's a tactic that used to work, having all these low, uh, low power websites pointing to you, but it's not a tactic that works anymore. And, and nowadays, it might actually be harming websites to have that kind of uh, backlink profile. So just be careful that you're getting high quality and relevant backlinks. Okay, so I hope that you found this helpful. Um, I, I don't know if I was talking a million miles an hour. I hope that I explained things clearly. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to follow up with you and let you know, you know, help explain any of this stuff to you. And of course, if you'd like help with it in a more, you know, a hands off approach, uh, you're welcome to tell me, hey, maybe we can set up a meeting um, to talk about my business goals, see if see if a partnership makes sense. But um, thank you so much. And I really hope that this information helps you out. Bye.